What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Ragnarok. And today, we're going to be building some more of the castle. Now, so far what I've done is, to prepare for this, yes, I placed this Anki Egg here, it's in the perfect spot, I like it too. Um, <laughs> we've built up like this little platform right beside our kind of main castle building, and probably later on the episode, maybe, I'm not sure if we're going to do this today, I will be probably just building a workshop in here. This like, this room here is going to be the workshop, that's what I've decided. I was going to put it under here, but then I decided, hey, I mean, like, that's going to look a little bit weird. Going to feel like I'm in like, the cellar or something building crazy things so instead we're gonna build it up there I think it's gonna be uh, more fitting up here and we're probably gonna build a bedroom and stuff up there eventually we'll see but today the plan is that we have to do kind of like a bit of a bit of a center kind of piece for this for this back end of the castle I, I guess I don't know because over here we're gonna build some more tower type uh, buildings kind of like similar to that one probably not gonna do the same probably gonna work with something a little bit different um, we do have a hole in the wall over here. <laughs> I still haven't even moved this. There's so much stuff in there. Uh, so yeah, the, the idea is that we're gonna just build something in the center here. And I kind of want to put like some wyverns and stuff up here. Kind of, guess like a little bit of a flyer hangar place, possibly. I'm not really sure. Um, also we have named the Uteranus that we got in the last episode. Um, which by the way, thank you guys for all the support of that episode. It was crazy. <laughs> it's like... There's a bunch of likes though, it's like 2500 or something, it's crazy. Uh, but we named him Loudmouth because they shout a lot. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is uh, this is the project today. I got like a bunch of materials here. I think we're just gonna start right now. Um, so I placed up these pillars here and we're gonna put ceilings on the top here and we're gonna go with kind of like arches kind of going up and then it's gonna go flat and then it's gonna go up and then it's gonna go across. You guys will see in a second here, let me this is probably the best way of doing it, I guess. Can I, can I place one here when I'm there? Oh, I can. Interesting. <laughs> Wait, can I? How am I gonna get up there though? No, that doesn't work. It doesn't, doesn't work. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta grab onto the side. By the way, guys, don't forget to hit that like button on this video as well. It really does help out. Let's uh, do a little bit of a super jump up. Oh, we missed. Accident. Oh god, this is horrible. You know what? Screw this. I'm just gonna do this. Nya. Nya. No, let me up. I wanna just... Ooh. Oh, we're doing it! Oh, such skill, guys. I'm amazing. I'm like Spider-Man. <laughs> Alright, so this is kind of the idea here. I'm gonna put four uh, ceilings along here. We're gonna remove the center two in a couple minutes, but I gotta keep them there for the moment while we build the rest of this. Uh, okay, so then we get some of these guys right here. We've got to face them this way. Nice. Um, I'm actually just going to place another... Uh, I guess I only need this one here. Hang on, let's just place a bunch of them going across here first. Uh, we're... how many more? One... To one more, I think. I think that's it. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so... Uh, let me just go... Alright, we want to place this like that. Um, I might just put some more scaffolding here for the moment. We're going to also have bits going up the center here. Um, so then, can we remove this now? I think we can. I think we I think we can remove this without breaking anything. Okay. <laughs> it's like pulling off a freaking... It's like pulling off like a plaster. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright. Um, oh, crap. No, 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 no. It's going to be here, right? Yeah, that's the spot right there. Okay. So like this, and then we're gonna like do a little bit of like a double archway, I guess, or I don't know, whatever this is, double arch, I don't know, <laughs> whatever you would call whatever this is supposed to be. I think it's cool, just two arches like that, because I can't remove these ceilings here, like they're, they're gonna have to stay and it would just look really awkward otherwise, so I think we're gonna do it like this, um, because obviously these stuff from the Castles and Keeps mod does not have like the same ability that you can have in S+, Plus, where you can make them not require foundation support. And even though we have that on S+, Plus here, this is, you know, this is completely different. So, unfortunately, we can't do that. So, I do need to use pillars, which is not my favorite thing to do. I don't like making giant pillar spaghetti monsters, uh, which is what my base on Season 2 of Vanilla was, essentially. It was just a giant pillar spaghetti monster. It was crazy. It just, it did look good at all. So, um... I'm a big fan of S plus the way that you don't require the pillars like everywhere. I do liking I do like using them for decoration, but just making giant monsters out of them is just not my favorite thing. Okay, so from here, 
I think we might be able to like alternate putting one of these in by the way I'm not sure if we're gonna put that all the way through here let me see about doing another one of these like this can I there we go we're kind of doing it we're a little bit glitchy in here though but we're okay okay what am I stuck on <laughs> I can't even tell okay there we go we're doing it guys we're doing it look at this one more perfect okay uh, so then we just got to place some more ceilings up here uh, that's the last one and then can we alternate them is this gonna work out I think it does actually oh crap no yeah give me that back um, like this oh perfect it works out brilliantly oh my god look at this okay <laughs> that's gonna be amazing all right so then pretty much oh crap I gotta grab some more Am I going to be able to get back up here? I guess I can use these to get back up. Okay. Don't really want to take too much damage. Let me actually try to mount him. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, I think I might need some more of these after. Uh, we need some more ceilings too, probably. And I think that's it. Oh, actually, oh, these little spots in here. What would this look like if I put some of them up there? Let me see. All right. Okay. Okay, <laughs> we did it. Um, how would this look? Let me see. Oh, please. No. <laughs> What's happening? No. Please. <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, okay. We're all, we're all right. We're all right. Okay. How does that look? Hmm. Uh, we'll place a couple of those. See how it looks in a minute. Is that the right way? Yeah. I think this one's wrong, though. I don't know how it's wrong. I don't know what it's stopped to, actually. What the hell? <laughs> how the hell did that one go on? <laughs> okay. It looks a lot better like that, actually. Uh, what number did I... Oh, God. Everything is everywhere. Uh, number five. That's, that's correct? I think so. All right. Uh, we might as well just do the rest of them. If we don't like them, we can just take them away. If we do, then we don't have to come back up here. They are all at the same level. Perfect. Okay. So then we pretty much just got to do some more of these along here. And then we got to go with these. But I think I can place some more ceilings so we'll have some more scaffolding. Uh, we'll just keep doing this. I'm not sure if we can stick any different kind of... Um, ceiling I'm not sure if they have like a flat version where it's green like this that would be pretty nice if they did I'm gonna have to look that up um, it didn't really look like that in the photo to be honest the photos are kind of a little bit weird on these like as you can see for the one I'm using right now it really doesn't give away a whole lot of like what this actually looks like <laughs> so you kind of just got to make a bunch of things and just kind of see what they are pretty much so I just have like a bunch of like random 90 degree angle battlements and stuff. I, did, I didn't know what the stuff was and I don't know how to use it, so it's kind of just a learning process at the moment. Oh my god, I wonder how this looks. Okay, let me let me hop down there. Okay, we don't really want to take too much damage. Okay, let me see. Oh, that looks nice actually. Hang on, we definitely need pillars on the other side, by the way. I'm seeing that right now. Um, it looks nice. Now it has to be quite tall because to get the wyverns in and out, it would it wouldn't work if it was like three high or something like that. So I put a five high with the archway like that. Um, I think I like it better with those little battlements between. What do you guys think about that? Do let me know. I think it adds more character to it. Maybe we could even stick some on the front here. Actually, I, I don't know about that. We'll have to see. Um, I do like it though. I think it looks really cool. Uh, huh. How does this look from out here? Now, obviously, there's going to be two of these, by the way, so it's going to look a little bit better. Uh, this is just the one currently, obviously. How does this look, though? Like, from far away. It doesn't look too bad. There's obviously going to be another building on the other side here, so eventually we'll be doing something like that. But uh, I do want to take this whole build in steps, because otherwise I'll just do it all off cam and you guys won't see any of it. And then I'll get questions forever of how I did it. <laughs> so, 
I think I I don't know. I like it. I think it's the best I can do because I can't have I can't have the ceilings basically floating off of uh you know, a ceiling out here. It just doesn't work like that. Um I don't know. I think it would look really weird as well. And I do like this double roof type thing. It actually adds more structure to it rather than it just being this thin kind of line going across the top. It's actually like this full on structure holding like as the roof. And I think it looks pretty cool. Do let me know what you guys think. Um, okay. So we got to do the same on the other side here. Yeah, and then I we're definitely gonna need pillars up here. Oh crap! All my stuff's on you, isn't it? Wait, what the hell was that on you? What do you have? Where? Why have you been hiding these from me? Don't just don't look at me like that. Okay, you had those. You knew you had those. I did not know you had those. I could have used those. <laughs> Damn it! Stupid wyvern. All right. Uh, me. Uh. Oh God. Oh. Oh, that's a little bit frightening. Can I? Uh, you know what? I could probably just do it from down here. Screw it. Um, that lines up with here, I believe. I think so. Kind of. Ah, oh, crap. This is super awkward. Okay, we got it. Is that right, though? It looks right. It just looked a little bit weird from the other side for a second. Yeah, that makes it look a lot better. I think actually, you know what? Another pillar in the center here would not be a bad idea. Oh, you know, I love this reusable grappling hook mod thing that we have. Um, and for anybody wondering about this mod or any of the mods that we are running on this server, um, there will be a link down below as always. If you guys want to check out the list or the rates or anything. All the information's down there. I do get that question a lot about the reusable mods, so I just thought I'd let you guys know. Uh, okay, okay, just stand on my way. That's perfect. That looks a lot better, I think. I really like these. They add a lot of character to it. Nice. Okay, I, I do... Hmm. I think it needs something else up there, though. Maybe torches, actually, behind these would be a good idea. I could do that. I could totally do that. I just gotta go make some torches. But actually, no, 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 wait. I have all the ones from the, um, from the thing. Uh, our little wyvern, uh, hatching station. Where the hell did I even put those? They're probably on Purple Rain here. By the way, people have been wondering where's, like, what's been happening with Purple Rain. Of course, we're still gonna be using it. Of course, it's my favorite horse. Look at this thing. It's majestic in every way. I love this horse. Of course we're going to be using it. And it's OP. Like, we've leveled this thing so much as well. Look at those stats. It's just insane. Um, so, yes, we will be using it uh, for traveling around. And, by the way, actually, here's a really... Why is... Purple Rain, why are you floating, kind of? Don't do that. <laughs> for people uh, wondering, um, there is actually a massive update coming to Ragnarok pretty soon. Like, really, really soon. At the end of August, basically in a month, we're gonna we're gonna get a island-sized expansion. It's gonna be the size of the island, basically added to this map, another quarter of the current map, and it's gonna consist of the desert biome. Uh, which side is it on? Is it on which side? Oh, I'm getting confused. Which side? Uh, is that green tower? It's really hard to tell. Oh, it is. It's this side. Yeah, it's this side here. Um, so we're getting. Let me just pull out the map. We're getting an island-sized expansion, and it's going to be just a freaking massive, like, desert biome. We're getting a new wyvern cave. It's not... I don't think it's going to be a trench. There's not going to be any lava there. I've seen some of the live streams that they've been doing. I haven't caught it in the last week or two, but I've seen a little bit of the work that they're doing, and from what I gather, they are making a cave where you can also find wyvern eggs, and I think they're going to make that trench over there uh, like over that direction. I think that's going to be fire eggs specific. I'm not sure, but the, the real thing is, is like two spots where you can get wyvern eggs, uh, two trenches anyway, obviously the ice eggs are just everywhere. Um, so that's going to be really, really cool. I can't wait for that. 
but there's so much like land coming to it so you know you know what that means like guys we're gonna be going around on our horse a little bit and we're just gonna be checking it all out you know maybe we'll even find a better base location if we've finished this base most of the building here we could even start another one over there somewhere random i don't know in the desert biome imagine a castle in the desert that would be so cool but um yeah so like we're gonna be checking all that out as soon as that all comes out at the end of august and that is actually at the same date that uh arc is officially releasing unfortunately they had to push back the release from what i hear um and it's something to do with uh i think it's something to do with the fact that they may have submitted the disc like the I guess when, when they were making the game, obviously they had to make a version that could go onto a disc that could be sold at retail. And from what I believe, the version of the disc one kind of like, it didn't go through the process as quick as they thought. Now, maybe they submitted it too late. I don't really know. Wildcard, you know, like they don't really get things on time all the time. But then again, game developing is like super difficult. So, you know. It's, you can't really blame them so much, but unfortunately ARK had to be pushed back. The release of it had to be pushed back by like three weeks, so it's also coming on the 29th of August. Um, so I'm excited for that. It's going to be cool. There's going to be a lot of new like content and stuff coming out then, and you guys can expect a bunch of videos at that point. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed, but whatever. You know, we have plenty of stuff going on right now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't even imagine like... Uh, a bunch more videos having to be made alongside everything that we're doing right now. It's kind of crazy. We're really busy on the channel right now. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to finish off the second side here, and then we'll be back, and we might put in some final touches, like some torches and stuff inside of here, if I can get in there ever. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Well, doesn't that look great? Those torches really add a lot to it, I have to say. So we got the second um, ceiling bit thingy up. <laughs> don't even know what to call it. We got the second half of the roof up. Um, and as you can tell, we've added in the torches and everything and all of the little battlements between. I think they actually add a lot to it, really. The torches and those actually completely change the look of it. And it just, like, it adds that, like, little bit of detail that it needed. And uh, I'm really happy that we came up with that. So I'm thinking because of the way that this kind of looks, and to be honest, let me just kind of... Because it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see. Um, I'm thinking that what we want to do is we want to actually add some ceiling going from this part onto our main building. So I have a couple more on me here. Let's just hop up here, actually. I need to put some torches in here. It's really dark in, inside of our actual building here. <laughs> Let me... Oh, man. It's so windy. All right. So if I... It's the best way to do this. If I just, like... Okay, <laughs> that worked. Uh, they, I never even noticed that. Interesting. Uh, Alright, well, let's just see if it works out from here. I know it's going to look a little bit weird going around the um, the battlement part here. Or, like, not the battlement, the uh, spiral kind of tower bit, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to just take a look at this in a second. So I want to go down by two, obviously. But that's going to look a little bit weird here. So we're just going to check that out and just see if it looks okay before we do anything else. Um, okay. Do I have my parachutes on me? Oh, crap, there's, I think they're inside the wyvern or something. Okay, we're all, we're all right, we're all right. All right, let me see. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I think. I hope. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Like, I really, I need that extra little bit of detail and it just standing by itself it looked a little bit weird it looks a little bit better that it's sticking off of the castle but does it look better overall i don't know oh god we're way too heavy for the horse or not, what that's not a horse what the hell's wrong with me um i'll just yeah i'll stick everything onto you wait how are we so heavy wait wait do you have stuff on you i bet you do oh yeah no wonder okay our parachutes are actually on here, aren't they? No? I can't see it. Huh. Alright, well let me just have a little look at this. It looks better from above. The way it touches into the main building. Uh, it makes it look a little bit more natural. Um, the way the two buildings were like built together like that. 
Uh, we're gonna have to. What the hell is Discord on loud for, dude? Stream remote, damn it. <laughs> Uh, I bet a bunch of people just checked their Discord there to see if they got a notification, but no, it was me. Okay. Um, I think it looks better. Probably going to be better, easier to tell when it's daytime. I'm not sure about it coming back this far at the back end here. I, maybe we could do it out that bit. I don't know. Let me see what it looks like from actually like inside of this uh, this little building that we kind of built. Let me see. Does it look better? It doesn't look the worst going around the tower. You know, obviously there's that gap. There's honestly nothing I can do about that. Like there's no ceiling that can wrap around uh, the kind of rounded walls here. So unfortunately I can't do anything about that and obviously I can't just like stick some of oh I'm completely out of them. I can't actually just stick some of these um of the sloped ceilings. I can't just stick those going into this tower because we have stuff in there and also they won't glitch through because of collisions. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this extra little bit in the side. I definitely think that maybe we could do without the second row, but I think the first bit is kind of necessary and I might actually add something like that on the other side over here so it sticks down a little bit more we could probably do that for sure uh, where do I have all the um I think I stuck them into killer frost oh we have 11 I think that's enough I think that's just enough actually let me see so you can get up by grappling here perfect and then we can just run over both of them here. And then... Let me just see if this is going to work out well. Perfect amount. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Alright. Perfect, okay. Alright, I definitely like that bit there. That adds a lot. Yeah. It takes away from like that flat roof feel that it has. Let me know what you guys think of the second row. I'm still not sure about that. I think it looks good the way it connects to the building, but it's it's still not great. And I don't know what to do. Okay. Right, well I'm gonna have a think about this for a couple minutes and we'll probably wait till it's daytime and then we'll check it out again. So we'll be back. Okay, I think I'm gonna probably leave it up to you guys. I still can't decide. It is daytime now and I still can't even decide. So what we're gonna do right now is just kinda line these guys up in here. Don't know which, like what way I'm gonna actually store everything. I think I'm just gonna have two wyverns like facing out this way. I could put some griffins maybe down here. Cause I do, why not? I only have one main griffin I guess. We're probably gonna get some more at some point. If I find a 180 I'll tame it but I think our one was like a 174 so it's uh, gonna be our main griffin for a while. Can we like Okay, do we like get to this right here, kind of line them up the same way? Oh, there we go. It's not too bad. Okay, maybe I can put him into the center. Nope. <laughs> oh, we can. There we go. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. Uh, I don't know how we're going to be able to see these things in here. Uh, maybe we can go... Ugh, damn it, I can't get around here at all. <laughs> um, maybe we can just go into K-mode, I guess. Okay. This doesn't look too bad, actually. I kind of like the three flyers just sitting here. Probably just going to leave the wyverns here. I use this griffin all the time, so he's just going to be moved immediately, pretty much. So, I think under here I need to put some walls and maybe some sloped bits as well. We'll see. Um, but all in all, I think it's a good project. So, yeah, we're going to do something else for the rest of the episode, I guess. So, I think we're going to take the Uteranus out for a spin, because we haven't done a whole lot of leveling on this thing. Let's just head straight out. Uh, I forgot they don't automatically close. Let's go back and <laughs> just close these before some of my creatures escape. So, um, I do plan at some point to gather up a couple more Uteranus and maybe get some breeding going. Because I want to get a really cool one. And then we're going to take out the war pack. And we're just going to go ham on something. I don't know. Maybe, I don't, uh, I don't even think we can bring these guys into a boss arena. But if we can find something that's like 
really OP, like a really high level Alpha Rex or something. Not that one that we found last day. That's not that high level. If we found something really, really high level, I'd love to take it on with the War Pack. You know, whatever, if we leave some stuff, it happens. What level are you? 66? Let me just go ahead and try to kill you really quick. It's probably not going to happen, but let's try it anyway. No, it's not going to work. Uh, I can't see anything at all. Perfect. All right. <laughs> oh, we got a Stego in there. Sweet. That's going to be some decent XP. Give me all of that XP. Oh, man. So we have a really cool area around here, and I'd love to do some more exploring on foot. So maybe at some point we'll do, like, a, uh, a little exploration, I guess, on our horse and maybe a couple creatures and just kind of walk around a little bit. Like, I don't like bringing too many of my creatures out because I kind of feel like I'll lose some really easily. Oh, that's the wrong roar. I meant to go with the other one because there's a micro raptor and I hate those things. Be afraid, man. Don't come after me. Okay, so yeah, uh, I do plan on, like, doing some exploring. Um, maybe even when they introduce the new biome, I'll bring some of my, like, uh, hyenodons or maybe some trudons or something around. We'll have like a little uh, wrong roar again. Oh wow, it like knocked them back though. That was scary. No, get away. Don't come after me. You're below me, aren't you? There you are. You're dead. Oh man, I gotta tame up some more micro raptors at some point. I do have that 174 that we tamed a long time ago. If we can tame a couple more, maybe get some mutations going. I know a lot of people have been asking for micro raptor mutations. I'd love to do that soon. Oh man. Also, we gotta get some freaking Dimorphodons. There's so many creatures that I need to tame. Oh. And I do wanna get, like... I do wanna bring my Rock Golem from Scorched onto the server, by the way. And I hope everybody's gonna be okay with that. Um, it was, like, legit tamed and everything, so I don't know. Like, we're just gonna be done with that series pretty soon. We're looking to do the caves on there at some point soon. So, uh, I do wanna make use of that 180 that we tamed. <laughs> so maybe we'll bring him on here. And it would be kind of funny because, like, this map is, like, very mythical, I guess. And that's very much a mythical creature. So, yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll see. I'd actually kind of like him to be... I'd like two of them. One, like, basically two of them, I guess, down in front of the base to just guard the entrance. Not that it needs to be guarded, but I think it would look really cool if we had two massive rock golem, like, bodyguards outside. That would be awesome. Oh, wow. We're just knocking everything off the cliff. All right, well, I'm not going to be dumb and follow them. Oh, look at that thing. Look at that Tapachara. That's a super awesome looking color. It's got like black wings. Oh man, that is amazing. I'd probably call that Nightwing. Because of the red as well. Let's kill him. It's not gonna work. <laughs> oh, uh, what's hitting me? Hey, get off, Packy. So this is one of my favorite areas along here. Just these cliffs is just, I love this so much. <laughs> I wish there was further that I could go, but unfortunately I'd have to grapple off to get over there and then further, I guess. But I don't know. I just really like this area. I think this would look really nice if you built like a couple houses and stuff along here, like a little village along the cliffside or something. You couldn't do that on PvP, but on PvE, man, that would look cool. Maybe we'll do that at some point. We'll see. We have our castle. Maybe we could create like a village around here if people were okay with that. I don't know if anybody's planning to like live really close to me. I, I really don't know. So uh, I guess I'll just wait a little while. Maybe we'll do something like this eventually. We'll see. All right. Okay. I just gotta. I gotta regen my stem. <laughs> it's gonna take ages. Some more melee. Nice. Get another packy beside us here. There's just a little poop. Okay. And you're dead. Okay. How's my stem? Almost done. And good. Perfect. So, is there anything else around, I guess? Like, anything I can fight? Some bugs. <laughs> Not that it's really gonna help. Come here, buddies. Okay, I'm not gonna go after those bodies. Ah, we're getting stuck. Great. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, I'm not sure if there's actually anything else around here. Like, there's some large-ish creatures, but... Yeah, we, I guess we can fight this guy here. Sometimes you'll find like trikes and stegos and stuff. Am I knocking him back? Oh wow, I do a lot of knockback. I never realized that. I'm gonna let him come to me a little bit. Nope, maybe not. All right, we're just gonna knock him into the cliff and kill him this way. <laughs> Otherwise, he's just gonna fall off that cliff into the water, and then we won't be able to kill him. All right, he's almost dead anyway. Does it do more damage if I do a roar onto him and make him afraid of me? 
can't remember if it does. One more and he should be done. Oh, one more, I guess. Is he afraid? Okay, now he's afraid. Does this do more damage? Oh, it does. That's probably like 50% more, I think. Wow, that's insane. But it costs a lot of stamina and it takes a lot of time to do that. So is it worth doing the roar on just one creature like this? Or would it be worth just... Was that a Microraptor? I feel like when a Microraptor just flew by my face. Yeah, so would it be worth actually, you know, wasting the time on one creature to fear roar it and then attack it? Or would it be better to just, like, keep attacking? I probably think just keep attacking when it's one creature. But if it's, like, an army, fear roar and then just, like, demolish everything. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. Ah, oh, this waterfall here is, is just amazing as well. I love the way that the water splashes up. I wish it was, look, I, I don't know. I wish it looked a little bit better. Like, the water looks okay here. It could look a little bit better, though. I think a little bit deeper would be kind of nice. Um, and also, it kind of derps out here a little bit, but from the distance, it looks really good. For sure. Let's hop back onto Loudmouth. All right, well, you know what? That's probably going to be it, guys. I didn't really plan on, like, doing a huge amount of leveling. Just kind of running around, just kind of clearing out the area, checking things out here, and fighting this Carno. Oh, no, let's recruit him. Be mine. You're gonna be mine, and then you're gonna take out all these compies for me. Kill them all. Kill them. Kill the compies and the flies and stuff. Do it, man. Come on. We fight with me. You coward. Damn it, Carno. Why is he not fighting? What? What would happen if I killed this thing? Oh, is he fighting now? Dude, come on. <laughs> that was weak. Alright. I love the way you can tame Carnos with this thing. Super cool. Uh, when is he gonna... I don't know. We're gonna leave it. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help out. If you guys want to see more, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.